Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss numericals on simple spur gear drives which are very important for online MCQ for two marks as well as final exam. So spur gears, as we know the spur gears are the gears which are manufactured that is teeth are manufactured along the axis of shaft. So we see the parallel straight teeth. The spur gears are noisiest gear because of their sudden line contact between the teeth. With this few factors of spur gear drives we learned in last lecture. So you need to draw this simple schematic spur gear pair diagram in exam. So what is the spur gears? Are gears which are manufactured along the axis of shaft. That is the teeth are manufactured along the axis of shaft. And we will be discussing a new term that is called as gear ratio. So what is gear ratio or reduction ratio as it is a ratio of input speed to the output shaft speed. So I can say that is in RPM N1 by N2 is as gear ratio which is equals to the diameter and number of teeth in terms of this formula. So we'll discuss how this formula came. So basically a gear ratio or reduction ratio is defined as the speed of input shaft that is the driving gear to the speed of driven gear. Now with the basics of your circular motions which you know V is equals to R omega whereas this omega is defined as or it is represented as 2 pi n right whereas 2 r is diameter pi constant and n is rpm so I can say this linear velocity can be represented as pi dn now when the two gears are in contact with each other at the contact point the tangential velocity is constant so I can say this velocity of gear 1 is equals to velocity of gear 2 so that I can write this equation pi d1 n1 let's say for input side is equals to pi d2 n2 so as pi is constant so we get this equation n1 d1 is equals to n2 d2 so from this I can derive as n1 by n2 is equals to d2 by d1 basics is the same formula I have written here n1 by n2 as gear ratio is equals to d2 by d1 that is inversely proportional to diameter and hence number of teeth are also in the same proportion because we know that if we have a larger gear to mesh with the smaller one the width of the gear teeth should be same so accordingly I can say this T2 as number of teeth and diameter they should be in the same proportion hence the formula as N1 by N2 is equals to D2 by D1 is equals to T2 by T1 same I can write as keeping this N and D proportion N1 D1 is equals to N2 D2 that is constant. So the ratio or the N1 D1 term is constant. Similarly I can say N1 T1 is equals to N2 T2 that is also constant. So with this formula of gear ratio N1 by N2 is equals to D2 by D1 is equal to T2 by T1 or ND and NT is constant we can solve few numericals which are very important for exam. So let us say the first question you can see a simple gear train we call simple gear train when more than two gears are connected serially. So let's say gear A, gear B and gear C. Three gears with the number of teeth mentioned. So here the 30 teeth, so that is T1 is 30, T2 is 90, whereas T3 is 15. I can say A, B, C as 1, 2, 3. One more additional parameter is given, that is the speed of gear A, that is let's say N1. So N1 is 90 RPM. I know N1 and 90 RPM so with this basic previous formula 
n1 t1 is equals to n2 t2 is equals to n3 t3. So put all the values. I'll say here n1 is 90 rpm, 1, 2, 3, a, b, c, c really. So the speed of first gear is 90 rpm into number of teeth on gear A that is 30 is equals to N2 which I need to find out into what is number of teeth on gear 2 that is B is 90. Similarly N3 is equals to N3 into number of teeth on third gear are 15. So just simple logic and cross multiplication to find out the speed of gear 2 that is N2 and speed of gear 3 N3. So I'll just take this 2. You can get the value of N2 as 30 RPM. Just take N2 as 30 RPM. Just this 90, this 90 get cancelled out. So N2 becomes 30 RPM. Similarly, put this equations we need to find out N3. So 90 into 30 is equals to just take this 15 divided by here. So it becomes 90 into 30 divided by 15. So this becomes 180. So the speed of third gear that is 180 rpm. Just I have taken this 15 divided by this term. So you can easily solve this numericals based on simple formula of n and t is constant. So n1 t1 is equals to n2 t2 is equals to n3 t3. So next numerical with the same logic you can solve. For MCQ you will get the question like find the gear of uh, speed of gear B and C that is n2 and n3. Options may be clockwise, anti-clockwise, that are more four options. So you can specifically say when gear A rotates clockwise, B will be anti-clockwise and again C will be clockwise. Again next gear, there is no relations of values of diameters with the animation shown. It is just to understand there are three gears, that's it. And to know what is the meaning of idler gear. So here you can see the gear B is idler gear. Gear A and gear C are the in and out that is driver and driven gears. So next numerical, a spur gear train consists of three gears A, B, C. So I can say 1, 2, 3. With the rotations of gears are 120 rpm, 60 rpm and 20 rpm respectively. So in this numerical, we know the 3 rpm speed. So I will say this 120 is N1, 60 is N2, whereas this is N3. I know 3 gear speed, N1, N2, N3. Find the number of teeth on gear C. So we need to find out gear C means third gear, number of teeth. So I need to find out T3. What is the value of T3? If the number of teeth on gear B is given, so I know second B gear, so that is given T2. So T2 is given as 20. So very simple, similar to the previous same logic, I am going to solve this question. So as we know, formula is N1 T1 is equals to N2 T2 is equals to N3 T3. We need to find out number of teeth on C, that is T3. N1 value is given that is 120 rpm. Number of teeth on gear 1, we need not to find out, so don't worry about it. N2, number of speed, uh, rpm of second gear is 60, and the teeth on second gears are given as 20, which is also equals to N3, which is given as 20 rpm. So 20 rpm into number of teeth on third gear. So let us say in this question they are asking about T3. So 
I'll just keep this parameter first gear. I'll just use this pair. 60 into 20 is equal to 20 into T3. Just this 20 get cancel out. The number of teeth on gear C, that is third, will be 60. And that is your answer for MCQ. Similarly, you can find out the number of teeth on gear 1, that is gear A. With the same logic, 60 into 20, I can write here, N1, T1 is equals to, as I know N1 is 120, how to find out T1? That is just to take 60 into 20. So actually you may get confused, this 60 into 20 for gear 2, that is just to know about what is to what is the value of number of teeth on gear 1. So what I will do, N1 is 120, T1 is which we need to find out, 60 into 20, so just this becomes 1200, so the value of number of teeth will be 10. So yes, accordingly you can find out number of teeth on gear A as well. So this kind of question you will get for MCQ, to find out number of teeth on gear A, B or C. Next question, again same with the another logic with the same formula. Spur gear train consists of 4 gears A, B, C, D in a mesh. The diameters of gears are given. So here I know 4 gears A, B, C, D with their corresponding diameter. So this 40 is D1, 120 is D2, 20 is D3 and this 60 mm is D4. So 4 gears, 4 diameters are given. Find the rotation of gear D. So rotations I need to find out N. For gear D which I am calling 1, 2, 3, 4 as 4. So I need to find out N4 as A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. Gear A rotates, that is the speed of gear A, that is 1, is given as 60. So the same formula which we know, that is N1 D1 is equals to N2 D2 is equals to So here we need to find out N4, D4. We'll just put all the values which we know. So specifically we know the speed of gear A. So I'll put this 60 RPM into the diameter of gear 1 is 40 is equals to, I'll take directly last pair, N4, D4. So I need to find out diameter for the speed for gear 4, that is N4. The diameter is given as 60 and what should be the, the speed of gear 4 and 4. So this get cancelled out. So I will get the speed of gear D is 40 rpm. So the simple one step numerical to use when I know 4 diameters N1, D1, N2, D2, N2, N3 and D3 like same equations. Just put the value of gear A speed N1 as 60 rpm. I know diameter is given as 40. Just put this one more rpm 60 here to get final answer as N4. With the same formula you can find out the speed of other gears which is N2 and N3. The speed of second and third gear which may be the MCQs. Now with the logic of same gears, we will be solving a few numericals with the previous topics. So here one more question which is related to the spur gears. A spur gear pair is used to transmit the power from electric motor which runs at 1440 rpm to the machine at 360 rpm. So in this numerical you can read the motor speed is 1440 rpm and machine is 360. So we need a reduction. So here you can easily observe from this question the input speed is high and output speed required is low. So we need to connect smaller gear to the motor whereas larger gear to the machine. So this is the pinion 
and this one is the gear. The number of teeth on pinion is given 18. So as we know input is a pinion. So we know that the N1 T1 for pinion N2 T2 for gears. Calculate gear ratio number of teeth and the diameter. So as we discussed all previous MCQs and simple numericals this will be for homework for you. So gear ratio I is equals to formula N1 by N2 D2 by D1 T2 by D1 is represented as N1 is input speed, output speed reduced. So accordingly pinion number of teeth 18 and the diameter of pinion as it is pinion so D1 19. These are the given formula. Put this formulas, this all four values in this equation to solve gear ratio, number of teeth and the diameters. This thing is for homework for you which is similar to all previous numericals. Next one more question which is same type. A torque of 190 Newton meter is required for running the mixer in dairy plant at 150 rpm. It is to be driven by electric motor. So the electric motor speed is given which is 720 rpm. So motor speed is given. Mixer in dairy plant so that is a machine it runs at 150 rpm. So as we know motor speed is 720 and machine speed 150. So again same logic here we require speed reduction. So smaller one is pinion which is connected to motor. Whereas larger one is a gear which is connected to the machine. So I will say this is a gear which is connected to machine. Through the spur gears number of teeth on pinion. So let's say this is one gear pinion and this is two. As we are using this notation very common to all numericals. Number of teeth on gear and pinions as they mention here it is strictly pinion is 20. So I need to consider T1 as 20 teeth on one gear pinion. Next the pitch circle diameter is 80 mm for pinion. So D1 as I am using driving side notation 1. So the number of teeth and diameter is given. Next as we know the corresponding speeds of pinion and gear means motor and the machine. So N1 will be 720 rpm machine speed mixer that is 150 rpm. Last part which is something new calculate the gear ratio number of teeth on gear piece circle diameter of gear power rating of the motor. To find out this power rating of the motor we use the formula P is equals to 2 pi nt. If I am using N in RPM divided by 60, that answer will be in Watt. So for this, we need to have that this T is not number of teeth. Remember, this is omega into torque. So this is I am using a torque. As in question it is mentioned, torque of 120 Newton is required for the machine. So that is output side, this one. On the gear. So gear torque is mentioned. So here I should consider gear speed which is equals to N2. So while finding out the last factor power use the formula 2 pi N2 into torque on gear which is second parameter. So I am using N2. You cannot take here N1 as torque on the machine is given. If it is given torque on the pinion or motor shaft I need to take this as N1. So this will be again homework for you solve this numerical. So I hope this is very much clear about the basics functions and numericals on simple gear train. Thank you.